Hello, everybody. Um, so we're going to go over this Adams and Cells worksheet. So um, if you haven't got this turned in, please get this turned in. So let's go ahead and look at which one's the odd one out and why might it be the odd one out. So first of all, if you did this and you may have had some troubles with it or issues, um, it may be because you didn't watch the video from last Friday. Okay, so last Friday I asked you guys to watch this video and there were some notes and I asked you to email me these notes once you got done. Um, I only received about one. So we need to make sure we're watching these videos. Number two. All right, let's get on to it. So this is about atoms and cells and really it's about the organization of life and trying to uh, differentiate between living things and non-living things. So if I look at uh, the leaf of a plant, horse's muscle, uh, blood and sugar, Sugar, would it be our odd one out? So why would sugar be the odd one out? Well, sugar is the only one is not made of cells. Sugar is a molecule. Okay. So that's why sugar is not one. Um, next one, which one's the odd one out? Piece of metal, apple seed, olive oil, diamond necklace. It would be apple seed, so it's vice versa. Here, the apple seed is the only thing here that is made up of cells. Right? All these other guys, a piece of metal, olive oil, diamond necklace, these guys are made up of atoms or molecules. Um, olive oil may have tripped you up because olive oil is the only liquid. However, we're not talking about liquid solids and states of matter. That's not what this class is about. We're talking about the uh, organization of life here. We're talking about atoms make up molecules. Molecules make up organelles. Organelles make up cells. Cells make up tissues. Tissues make organs. Organs make organ systems. And organ systems make up us, the organism, right? And just to be clear, when you, we did do that, uh, those notes, and again, if you did not get those notes from last Friday, you need to go back and do those notes. That's really important. All right. But something to note is um, not every organism has, uh, has tissues or has organ systems. Okay. Uh, we have things like bacteria. Okay. Uh, all bacteria, and there's tons and tons and tons of bacteria out there, right? There's more and they are single cellular organisms, meaning that organism is only composed of one cell, where obviously we are made of trillions and trillions of cells. Uh, smaller organisms are made of less cells, but yet they are still multicellular, meaning they're made up of multiple cells, where they do have tissues, right? Tissues are multiple cells that are the same, that work together to perform the same function, okay? And therefore, you need to be multicellular to have tissues and organs and organ systems. But for the vast, but for the majority of life is unicellular. So uh, that's the thing that all living things have in common is they all are made up of at least one cell, and then all, and then could be made up of multiple cells, like us human beings, like animals, like plants. Okay, the things that we can, the animals or the living things we can see with our naked eye are multicellular. If it's unicellular, we have to look under a microscope to be able to see it. So it's the apple seed, olive oil. Uh, it comes from a living thing. However, it's just the juices like orange juice. Orange juice is not made up of cells. It's made from the juice of oranges. Apple juice is not made of cells. It's made up from the juices of the cells of an apple. Um, if I jump down here thinking about the two groups above, which of the following best, right, best describes both groups. And so that would be E. Okay, so although some of you guys may have said B, both groups are made up of atoms. You're absolutely right, right? Uh, atoms make up all things, all matter, living and non-living, okay? Where cells, cells only make up living things, okay? So this is correct. However, it's not the most correct or it's not the best statement. It's E down here. So E is except for the odd one out. Group A is made up of cells and atoms, and group B is made up of atoms only, Okay, and I should say uh, this odd one out, except for the odd one out in group A, is made up of cells of an, and atoms, which is true. Um, right, the odd one out up there was the uh, sugar. But then group B, the odd one out was, again, the apple. So everything else was made up of atoms only. And so that's what uh, you should have typed something like that here. 
okay, which essentially would have summarized or you would have put these two sentences together and plugged it in down here for the Y. Ace, ace your answer. Okay, so ace, answer, cite, explain. That's what ace stands for. Answer, cite. So when you cite something, why am I doing that? He just jumps down there. Hmm, I don't like that, guys. So when I cite, there we go. Cite, that just means, hmm. Um, that just means where did I get that information from? So in this example, you would say from class or something along those lines. And then E is explain slash example. All right. So you explain. And a lot of the ways, uh, an easy way to explain something is to use an example. Maybe we use from class or something that you can come up with off the top of your head. Okay. Answer, site, explain. So I'm going to get rid of these lines or else uh, I'll be having a fit here. So, A, so answer. So when I go to answer something, I'm going to rearrange this question into a statement. I'm going to use bigger, I'm going to use atoms, and I'm going to use the word cell. Okay, so a cell is bigger than an atom. Okay, so I, I answered that. Now it says ace your answer. So I'm going to explain it. How do I know this, right? I need to back up this. So somebody said cells are bigger than atoms because cells are the basic building block of life, which is absolutely true. They're the building block of life. However, that doesn't exactly tell me that a cell is bigger than an atom. That doesn't, that's a true statement, but it doesn't tell me why or how do I know that an atom is smaller than a cell. Okay, but what can tell me that is we know that atoms make up molecules or I should say this, if I'm going to cite, I could say something like, in class, we learned that atoms are the building blocks of all matter, right? So we are matter. Anything that has mass and takes up space, which is anything pretty much we can think of besides light, besides gravity, but I mean, we can't see those things. They're not tangible. They pull us or they illuminate things, but they don't have mass. They don't take up space. Um, but we learned that atoms are the building blocks of all matter. So atoms make, if we put all these atoms together again, we make up molecules. So atoms make up molecules and then molecules form together and make up cells. All right. So right there, that should be able to tell us that this is how we know that cells are bigger than atoms, because if you're building a brick house, right, um, you need multiple, multiple, multiple bricks to build a brick house. So you can't say that a single brick that you use to build that house is bigger than the actual house itself. That's the same thing here with saying an atom has to be smaller than a cell because an atom builds smaller building blocks like molecules and molecules then work together and they all build up uh, cells. Okay. So there's that. There's uh, our probes worksheet. Um, next, next, let's kind of go over. Uh, so we had our cell pictures that you guys did the other day. And so if we look at our plant cells, uh, something we may notice here is these guys are actually pretty well organized, right? One thing we notice that they are very rectangular, they're blocky, um, they do have like definite size, sides almost, right? You can see these guys here. They look like bricks on a brick house. Um, we look all the, all these guys, they have all have rows. They look pretty rectangular. Again, they have rows, nice organized rows. Okay. I have very nice rows. Okay. Where we come down here to our animal cells now. All right, we have some neurons here. And again, like uh, these colors in here. So these are not real colors. These are... Uh, whoever took these pictures. So these are real pictures of cells. However, there was an artist or whoever digitally enhanced these so we could see them better. Or like down here, somebody definitely added iodine to this, which is a dye, so that some of the structures would pop out a little more. Because it's kind of hard to see cells because they're really, really small. 
Um, but we don't see any of that organization here, right? We don't see that this neuron doesn't look this, anything like a blood cell. And these guys in here, these like purple and blue things, uh, these are actually types of white blood cells. And so these guys are even kind of like, this guy looks like a glob here. He's pretty circular right here, but then we get some dots and stuff like that. But we look at the salivary gland. It's really hard for us to decide where the one cell ends and the other one begins. Where if I come up to these guys, we can def there's like a definite outline of these cells. And that's partially because of the cell wall. So a plant cell also has a cell wall where an animal cell does not have a cell wall. It just has the cell membrane. Uh, again, here's another picture of a nerve cell. Neurons, nerve cells are the same thing. So you see the main body here, but then you see these uh, branches. Uh, we call these dendrites. Um, we keep on going again, but this pancreas, the cells in this pancreas, so that we see these, circle, these little circles. Um, these are actually the nuclei of all the different cells. But again, it's hard for us to, but like right here, you know, this tissue right here, it's hard for us to see where one cell ends and the other one begins. Uh, here's a cheek cell. So it looks like this is one cheek cell. Here's another cheek cell. Um, here's some other guys. But again, that's just, uh, they're, you could say this is kind of circular. They do have a circular shape, but it's just still pretty tough. Here's some muscle cell. Here's a cross section of muscle cell, bone cell, and things like that. Actually, if you were to look under a microscope, this is what the um, cells would actually look like more so is there's really not a whole lot of color to them. They're hard to see. And so it is, it's really nice to use a, uh, to dyes and things like that to be able to see this. Uh, this is skin SEM. SEM stands for scanning electron micro microscopy. Um, so they use something way more powerful than any microscope that we'll ever have as they use a different wavelength um, in order to see itty bitty structures in greater detail. It's really nice. And that actually looks like what they did with this bone cell too. Uh, here's your nail, right? This is just so irregular. These guys are so ir irregularly shaped that um, yeah, there's really no telling that they're circular or even oval. They're just irregular shape is how I would explain them. Okay, and this was just to kind of give us get us familiarized with cells, how they're different. We form different tissues and things like that with these guys. Um, so we're going to go ahead and move on again. So that's just like a little review of what we did last week. So now we're going to go ahead and head on to today's lesson. So let me sign in here. Skip ahead. All right, so here's the organelle trail. So it says the link above will take you to the website. And so what you need to do is you need, the only thing you're going to do today is click this guy down here, the organelle table document. Okay, so I'll go ahead and open this guy on up. Enable editing. Okay, and so we have the nucleus, the mitochondria, the Golgi apparatus. All of these guys are organelles. And yes, you do have to do all of these. Don't try to do all these in one sitting. Okay, it does take a little bit of time. Uh, today, the guys had about 20 minutes to work on them, so we didn't get a whole bunch of time, not as much as I wanted to, um, but we didn't get a whole bunch of time, and, and honestly, a lot of people did not get very far. So don't kill yourself and try to do this all in one sitting or else you'll drive yourself nuts. Um, but here's our nucleus. So, like, where's the location on this nucleus? What's the description of it? What is it? The description is what does it look like, okay? If you want, you can... Um, Maybe you can, uh, I'm fine if you copy and paste and if you're able to fit the picture in here. If the picture blows up way too big and it starts distorting this table and stuff, I wouldn't go that route. Maybe try to Google the description of the nucleus, but really a nucleus is like you can look on this next thing. It's a circle. It's a circular structure. Uh, the function, what does it do? Okay, that's all that means is what's the function of the nucleus? And so where do we find all of this information? Well, you go to the here, the organelle trail. So it takes you to this website and you'll go right here to the trail where this gives me these three bullet points are this are all uh, different websites. So if I go here, cells, organelles, this is the most straightforward website, whereas I just scroll down here, the nucleus, the DNA, ribosomes, mitochondria, these are all organelles. Remember, these are tiny organs that are located inside of a cell that make up a cell. Um, and so they just give a quick rundown of what they are, what do they do, what do they look like, where are they located, right? The same questions that I'm asking you. However, not all of them have all of the answers that you need. So you need to have all three of these open. So I'll go to the virtual tour of a cell and I'll click on, sorry, I kind of whizzed through that. I'll click on start the animation. Okay. And then I'll go to my animal cell. You can go to your plant cell. Turn that noise down. Okay, 
but I can run my mouse over this guy and here's the endopla rough endoplasmic reticulum. Here's my nucleus that we were just talking about. So I'll click on my nucleus. If you can't find it, you can also see there's a list of organelles down here and that and they point to uh, on your screen. So if I look at my nucleus here, the nucleus is the most obvious organelle in any eukaryotic organism. So there's a location, uh, this E word, E-U-K-A-R-Y-O-T-I-C, eukaryotic. Uh, we'll learn more about eukaryotic uh, cells and prokaryotic cells, but you can say that's where it's located. Um, most of the time, the nucleus is located in the center of the cell. Um, maybe for this one, it's really not the best uh, website to go for for the nucleus. And it can be a little different for all these organelles. So that's why I'm saying pull up maybe this guy and find uh, the nucleus, okay? Where here, a good function for it. The nucleus houses DNA as well as various proteins in the nucleolus. Okay, so boom. You're done with the function, right? With the description, uh, you can see a description right here. It's a, it's a circular organelle that has uh, some strands of DNA on the inside of it, right? It's enclosed double membrane. Uh, here's another description. It's an enclosed double membrane and communicates with the surrounding cytosol. Okay, so uh, a membrane is just anything that separates two environments. So it's a barrier. That's all a membrane is. So like our skin is a membrane and it separates our inside from the outside environment, right? It keeps the bacteria, the bad bacteria out of our bodies and not infecting our inside. Um, and then here's the third one, which is probably one of the cooler ones. Um, it can be tough for you to get in because it's uh, this runs on Adobe Flash Player. And so what you'll need to do is click on this guy right here and and mine's not working. Oh, here it is. Um, a lot of the times th this little puzzle piece guy will appear over here and I'll have a red X through it. And so you'll click that, come down, it says manage, click manage. And then right about here in the middle of the screen, there's a um, turn block off for Adobe Flash Player. And so you'll turn that off and then you'll come back to this page and then you'll click this guy right here again. And then you'll click finally allow. Once that comes through, here we go. We're in our little cell guy here. So I'll come down here and I'll click this right here. It says make cell membrane transparent. So this is the cell membrane that encloses the entire cell. So this is the cell and the cell skin is really what we call the cell membrane. So I'll make this guy transparent. So now I can see through it. So here's the nuke, nucleus. Nuke. Here's the mitochondria. Uh, was that the endoplasmic reticulum? There's a whole bunch of the, the Golgi apparatus, all right? So I can nucleus. click on this, guys. So we were looking at the nucleus. So it starts zoning in, and it will give me a little presentation. The cell's nucleus stores and protects the organism's unique DNA blueprint. All right, so here's all this DNA. Pores in the nuclear membrane here, act as gatekeepers, selectively allowing molecules in and out. Okay. So anyways, uh, you can do this for all of these organelles. Lysos mitochondria you can do it for all of these okay so i suggest that you have all three of these websites pulled up at the same time and you try to finish these again don't try to finish these all at once maybe try to do it in 25 to 30 minute increments okay and it might take you two or three periods uh two or three of those 20 to 30 minute periods to get it done it is a little bit okay so um you don't have to worry about getting this assignment in by teams on uh on thursday um I'll have to see where the class is on Thursday with getting these done. So for now, I'd like to get it done by the end of class on Thursday. But again, like I said, it'll have to, we'll have to see how, uh, how long it takes. So try your best to get this done at least by the end of Thursday. Um, but we'll start on a poster project with one organelle. And, and that's what the rest of this plan book thing is about right here is this wanted poster. And you're going to make an organelle into a wanted character of the Old West. And uh, it's kind of a fun little deal, but we probably won't start that until uh, next Tuesday. Or sorry, I have you guys Thursday and then Monday. So we probably won't start that till Monday. So anyways, let me know if you guys need any help. Remember, keep watching these videos. Bye-bye.